All right, let's um let's check out Coffeezilla. They got some videos I kind of wanted to watch. This one was um looks interesting here. Hold on. Okay, so thirty thousand dollar. Oh uh, no, thirty thousand, not thirty thousand. Thirty million dollar AI is hiding a scam. Oh my god, I think I know. I think I actually know that. I think I saw a YouTube short ad about that. All right, so thirty million dollar AI is hiding a scam by Coffeezilla. Let's see what we got here. It's a little bit older video, but I wanted to check it out because I think I've seen this as an ad before. The Rabbit R1 is a tech product that has raised tens of millions in venture capital, promised the world, and delivered on almost none of it. Worse, though, mm. it's built on a scam that the founder is now trying to distance himself from. But, hey, where are my manners? I'm trying to be more positive in 2024. So let's let this company introduce themselves at least before we say anything negative about them. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Jesse, and I'm the founder and CEO of Rabbit. This is the Rabbit R1. I remember it. I remember now. I saw this on the YouTube shorts, and I thought it was fucking amazing looking. I thought it looked really cool, but why is it a scam? I can speak or type with R1. I can also use R1 to call a ride. I can also use R1 to order food. I can also make R1 to a set of more complex actions. For example, Okay, so wait, so you're basically saying you you can do with R1 what you could basically do with any smartphone? <laughs> what did he say? Also use is the rabbit R1. I can speak or type with R1. Uh, okay, so with an iPhone, I can speak and type with it. I can also use R1 to call a ride. I can also call a ride with Uber with, with an iPhone. I can also use R1 to order food. I can also use an iPhone to order food with Uber Eats. I can also make R1 to a set of more complex actions. So can an iPhone, what For the fuck? For example, if I want to plan a trip to London, I can just describe what I wish in full to R1. You can order the R1 now at rabbit.tag. And we are $200? Eastern 2024. Well, there you go. That's not so bad. You got yourself a standard tech guy in a black shirt promising the world. Oh, yeah, he looks like Steve Jobs, not gonna lie. Apple keynote background, what could go wrong? Oh, and I guess it's past Easter 2024, so the product should have shipped. Yeah, where so is before it? Before we talk about the scam angle, let's briefly check in oh, with this guy. Tech YouTube for how this AI assistant is assistanting the thing that you get at the beginning. This guy, I know this guy. Borderline non functional. Book an Uber to LTT Labs. The rideshare status is currently unavailable. Get me a ride. Apologies. The Uber Bruh. ride request couldn't be processed. What is this? What? You are holding a taco. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? You mean a taco flavored Dorito, probably. <laughs> Dude, this thing is a failure. That's not good. I could give them a few lessons on positivity. Turns out, basically everyone in the tech sector tag teamed this product for being non-functional or plain wrong about things that Rabbit said the R1 could handle. Things just weren't working. But what if I told you that wasn't the biggest scam? Mm. This company is built on something much worse. Uh -huh. And now that I've been so cheery and positive, let's go down the rabbit hole and see what's under the hood. All yes, right. It's a bunch of rabbit jokes. So the first thing we need to ha, do ha, is ha. go to their web page. The R1 is created by something called Rabbit Incorporated. But this company okay. has a strange history. It was originally registered under a different name, Cyber Manufacture Co. Okay, weird. In fact, they changed their name two months before their official <clears throat> announcement. And it turns Even out weirder. that name change is pretty significant because <laughs> Cyber Manufacture Co. wasn't just like a shell company or the same company under a different name. They had separately raised venture capital for a completely different project. Not AI. What? It was for NFTs. Oh, now, before you Jesus. Laugh, remember, this is 2021 when people took NFTs very seriously. According to a press okay. release, the project was called Gamma, and it was at the intersection of gaming, community ownership, and Web3 buzzwords. What does that have to do with AI? Well, not really much. Conversely, Rabbit today also sort of wants nothing to do with crypto. Their founder, Jesse, announces for Rabbit, let me be clear, quote, we will never touch okay, crypto. Okay, never touch crypto. Never. Got it. Okay, well, that's 
pretty strong, but given their whole passage is built on crypto NFTs, it's uh, a little strange. Man. Now, when Gamma is brought up, Jesse... Wait, so, like, I'm confused about NFTs a bit because I, I think it's BS and I never touched it, but I guess it's based on crypto, right? Is that what he's saying? And then this this stupid AI thing saying, we will never touch crypto. Except for the NFTs that we did. He doesn't really deny that he ran the project. He sort of makes it sound like it was no big deal. Just kind of a thing of the past. Uh -huh. Quote, Gamma was a fun little project I was involved with during early COVID time. My main work is to build a Unreal Engine 5 space station themed mm -hmm. game. That okay. I later open sourced. Yes, Gamma released NFTs and I bought a bunch myself just for fun. Never trade, never released any token or crypto coins, and I left that project once the game was open sourced. <laughs> well, there you go. Haters. Case closed. It was a fun little multi-million dollar project he did. He just built it on Unreal Engine. He may have sold a few NFTs, but he bought a few <laughs> NFTs. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's not a scam. Please don't look into this. Please, please do not look into this. All right, this I won't look into it. Scam. Oh. Uh, what? Some people may have looked into it. <laughs> First, Emily Shepard, and then the writer and podcaster Ed Zitron jumped in the fray with a great article. Now, I spoke to Ed, and he told me a very different story than Jesse about this Gamma project. It's so weird, and it's the same company. And in 2021, they raised this $6 million, and then... Jesse Liu, across several hours of Clubhouse that I subjected myself to, promised the world and more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to say, promise the world and more is slightly inconsistent with fun little COVID projects. So I decided I needed to listen to these recordings of Jesse talking about Gamma myself mm -hmm. back in the day and find out who was really telling the truth. Jesse or Jesse? I don't want to make Gamma, or none of us want to make Gamma as a hype and dump program. This is a legit uh, team with millions of dollars of fundings behind. Basically, okay. we're dumping uh, millions of monies into it uh, just to make sure that uh, it, it will be a next level experiences. Okay. I have to admit, it definitely sounds like Ed is right. This is sort of whatever the opposite of a quick NFT hype and dump project is. And this is where things get much weirder. How so do they get weirder? NFT is only just the beginning, the very beginning of this. We probably think that the NFT part will only take, you know, no more than 20% of the entire weight of this entire Bagama project. That's a so lot. After NFT, we have this huge uh, groundbreaking ideas about Gamma Burst. And after that, we have this, uh, again, huge groundbreaking ideas about the clean energy versus Gamma coin. Uh, and that, you know, uh, the, the chances that Gamma Coin become the first not only uh, carbon neutral, but actually carbon negative crypto 2.0 or Bitcoin 2.0, I think that's completes the entire Gamma start. Wait a second. He said he wants to become the Bitcoin 2.0. Didn't they just say that we don't want to touch crypto at all? Is he just contradicting himself here? Am I missing something? now you're starting to see why I think it's strange for Jesse to claim that Gamma was a fun little project where he never released these tokens or crypto coins when that's sort of what he promised. He told people he was going to yeah. release a carbon negative Bitcoin 2.0. And yeah. like, I know it sounds stupid now, but again, <clears throat> 2021 was a different time. It was. Remember, Jesse had millions in backing. It's not hard to see how people took him seriously. He said it didn't matter how the NFTs did. He was going to execute. But where are those millions? You know, the money raised from customers. Oh, yeah. Where is when it? the company changed to Rabbit, where did it go? Did it go to develop Six Rabbit? million dollars? Six million dollars? What the? Is, where is it? Where is the six million? Completely different project? I don't know. I'd love to sit down with Jesse and find out. What I do know, though is that so many of the promises of Gamma didn't happen. And this is relevant to the R1, not just because this project is built on the skeleton of that scam project. It's also because the R1 was overhyped in a similar way as a do-it-all device. But this- Dude, the iPhone is a do-it-all device. Some history-less company. 
they have a history of abandoning investors like they did with Gamma NFTs. I mean, oh, Jeff true. even told people who were- I didn't even think about that. So they already abandoned that cyber name for Rabbit, and they abandoned, they already had a history of abandoning another company or team. Jesus Christ, they can't be trusted. Worried about the NFTs. Don't pay attention to that. You know, it's all gonna work out. You just gotta be a true supporter. I would suggest for our true supporters, uh, do not pay too much detail about the current NFT mechanisms because that doesn't matter. You know, like I, I can safely say that even if the entire NFT project completely failed, which I don't think that's the case, we're gonna still push the gamma verse and we're gonna still push the the uh the clean energy and gamma coin happen using our funds. I cannot okay. emphasize enough that was a lie that never happened. The clean energy gamma coin never got published or what? built or launched. Even though Jesse said they were gonna do it, they had the money. By the way, we all know it's vaporware, but I think it's important to really hear him sell it because this is the same guy who wants you to take him seriously when he sells you the future of AI. Take a listen to the- Where did he put the $6 million? Dollars? Gamma coin, which is basically Bitcoin 2.0 that is 100% generated by clean energy. And we did the math, we did the calculations to where if you own over 1,800 milliwatts of clean energy generation, that means you will have extra generated electricity that you can donate back to city grid. So the general concept is, let's say if you own a gamma NFT, that means you own the equal portion in valuation of your NFTs at that moment of that clean energy grid that we started building what in the this guy's not making any sense that means you own that power that portion of the clean energy solar panels that generates that power and that means you own that power and that also means that you own that portion of that power and that power will be used to generate gamma coins that means you can earn your gamma coins out of this entire uh clean energy cycle <laughs> well that was a All mouthful right. Let's try to suspend our disbelief for a second here and figure this out. Basically, he's saying buying NFTs somehow would build a clean energy grid, which you would sort of co-own, which would make clean tokens, sort of the thing. And and look, I know uh -huh. that sounds a little insane. Yeah, but that's insane. The funny thing is, it's sort of the most sensible part of this project, because uh, as I learned. That wasn't even close to the end of it. What? They were saying there was going to be a storefront on, I think, Fairfax Avenue across from Supreme in LA. They were going to do a comic book. They claimed uh, there's a Discord. A comic animal. book? Yeah, they said a comic book, a TV show, an MMORPG. <laughs> and at no. one point, yes. And then Jesse Liu at one point I'm said- I'm the same reaction as Kamizu. control using your brain logic. It is insane. Am I the only one who doesn't know what brain logic control is? Look, when I first heard I don't this, know what that I is. thought, this cannot be right. This project is already crypto plus NFTs plus clean energy plus comic books. Surely they aren't going to wrap in AI as well. Oh, boy. The ultimate goal is that each NPC will be powered by uh, AI algorithms. Ah, Jesus. And then you will be interacting directly with them. Here we go with the AI again. Your brain logic. I think that will be the ultimate goal. And when, when I say ultimate goal, I don't think that's like a 10 years plan. I think, you know, in, in the next couple of years, we might just have a very good chance to achieve it. Oh, uh, no, he did. <laughs> Promised in two years. Okay, well, uh, why not toss in AI to the buzzword salad? In fact, I guess it yep. maybe relates it more to Rabbit. Maybe we do have the connection, right? The brain logic interface is the connection. I, don't, I mean, why not just make it the Matrix while you're at it? I mean, I, it surely is the Matrix to my to my extent and to the original concept of the Matrix that you know you will be reborn reborn with your alter identity in, the, in this metaverse, and whatever you do in the real world matches the exact consequences in the digital world. What the okay. did this? What the actual fuck did he just say? <laughs> it's 
So you're saying that your AI tool, the rabbit thing, that said a Dorito was a taco, you're comparing that to the Matrix? What? I mean, come on. This man just do the, if you die in the game, you <clears throat> die in real life. This isn't sorta online, online, bro. While selling NFTs? The answer is yes. And my only follow-up question is, if you get scammed in the metaverse, do you get scammed in real life in this world too? Look, I'm not here to stump for the big wig venture capitalists who lost their faces on this. At the end of the day, these are both consumer facing businesses. They got real people to invest real money into both the $200 Rabbit R1 and into this Gamma NFT project. Both are overhyped. One just already didn't deliver what they promised while the other is working on fixing it. So what can be done here? Well, for one, the minimum is that the Gamma NFT holders should be refunded the money they spent. Yeah. I mean, this is one million dollars. Crazy, wacky suggestion. Jesse suggested it himself in those clubhouse calls. And I better pay my money to collect your NFT back if you think this is just an NFT hype and dump project. I okay, so he so, so he basically promises to refund the money, right? First of all. I know it was 2021 and it was a different time. NFTs were like going crazy, but anybody who, dude, he has a million dollars. That's a lot of fucking money. People, people are, dude, whoever like funded this is an idiot. The communities will have my words. Anyone that is not envisioning the gamma to the stage two or three, just want to make a, a cup of ease out of stage one, reach out to me. I will buy your NFTs, okay? I will buy your gammas and get a f*** out, all right? All right, we'll take you up on that. Yes, I got a haircut. So I reached out again to uh, he got a haircut. about these refunds, but he didn't respond. He didn't again. respond. The rabbit team did, though. They told me Ooh. Jesse would not refund investors. The quote what? Was the project was never abandoned. It was actually open sourced. What does that mean? Well, rabbit claims the gamma team delivered everything they promised in three stages. The one problem is the three stages they gave me aren't the three stages they promised. The metaverse, by the way, they said they created too, is not a metaverse. It's an Unreal Engine project file that I downloaded to play. It's based on a starter game called Lyra. You can see the starter assets here. And the things Gamma did do made the game so buggy oh, that it Jesus. crashed every minute. But it gets worse. The rabbit team denied Gamma ever promised the carbon negative coin, which they repeatedly promised. They said the coin you referred to never materialized, nor was it ever promised or delivered. Now, obviously, I it was it literally promised to be delivered. What the fuck? And what the actual heck? They didn't refund, dude. That's a million dollars. They didn't refund because they delivered. Here I was listening to Jesse promise it, but also he even put it in a video saying explaining Gamma with our roadmap. Ultimately, our efforts will lead to the Gamma token, the first ever carbon negative cryptocurrency powered by our sun. Together, we will create a sustainable future for all life on the planet we call home. Join the Discord today. How is a digital coin going to be sus create sustainable life for all life on the planet? That is fucking ridiculous to say. Just think about that for a second. I'm talking to you guys that that uh, that invented this gamma thing. Use try to use all your brain cells that you have, which is like one point five, at the most, to imagine what you just said there. Fucking idiots. Some things that you should never never invest in is crypto and AI. Never invest in that shit. Anybody who invests in crypto and AI is a fucking idiot. I don't know how they could have been more clear. I think it's amazing to have them say now, we never promised that. Only to find a roadmap video with you promising in big letters, carbon negative cryptocurrency. Carbon negative cryptocurrency. Oh my God. It's just gaslighting at this point to pretend otherwise. Yeah, exactly. What is funny is that Rabbit also mentions clean energy initiatives they say they did, like reducing gas fees. 
But again, that's not what they promised. They promised a clean energy grid. Jesse also promised it on Discord. His post was in Chinese, but he's clearly talking about open sea transactions being used to buy land to build the clean energy grid, which is gonna help mine gamma coins, which is exactly what he said on Clubhouse. I mean, these people are contradicting themselves in multiple languages. So I'll let you decide at the end of the day if the rabbit team is being honest here. Towards the end, they even tried to tell me that Gamma, in our opinion, and as stated in the fact sheet, has no connection with rabbit. But the fact sheet they're talking about, they sent me in a document called Gamma Project Fact Sheet. You can't just declare your own facts when it's the same company who made both things, the rabbit and the Gamma Project. How can you say there's no connection? But after realizing mm. no accountability would be taken and no refunds would be given by this project, I began to feel bad for Gamma investors. It made me wonder, exactly. what else is this team hiding? Well, I decided to find out. Oh, he got it, bros. He actually bought it. $200 down the toilet. Is this a- oh my god, CoffeeZilla, man. Is this your Patreon thing? Look at that quality, bro. Wow, what an amazing uh, video. That was awesome, guys. You guys should definitely subscribe. I'm gonna subscribe and like the video. CoffeeZilla, guys. Check out- uh, oops, you can't see that. Check out CoffeeZilla. He's amazing. Amazing creator. You should really check it out. That was- $30 million AI is hiding a scam. Wow.